So, Lenovo has just launched their brand new gaming phone called the Lenovo Legion Y90. But is it actually any good? Well, you came to the right place. Welcome to TaxPlay. Hello everyone, and today I will talk about one of the first gaming phones released this year, the Legion Y90. In this video, you learn all about the device, from the design, specs, cameras, and lastly, the price. Without further ado, let's start. Okay, let's first talk about the design. As you can see, the phone is designed to be used horizontally, and it looks like the old Legion Dual phone which I kinda like. And for this one, it's a bit more refined with a cool rounded middle design that houses the real cameras and some RGB. For the front, it got a decently sized bezels considering there's dual front firing speakers and a selfie camera. And to make your gaming even more immersive, they also included shoulder keys on the side of the phone and some pressure sensitive zones on the display. However, as cool as it looks, I'm still a bit concerned about its design and durability as you can see with this clip. Ouch! Setting that aside though, the rest of the phone is pretty cool, like the screen. It is a massive 6.9 inch 1080p AMOLED display with 144Hz refresh rate and 720Hz touch sampling rate. Not only that, they also boast a 3.4 millisecond response time, 1300 nits peak brightness, and accurate colors. For the audio side, it packs a beefy dual speaker setup, like I said, with Dolby Atmos, but sadly, no headphone jack. At least this phone got two USB-C ports for charging and you can use one of them for your headphone jack adapter. And speaking of charging, it got a big 5600 mAh battery with 68 watt fast charging through those dual USB-Cs. Now for the inside, it of course packs the latest and greatest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with 12 to 18 gigs of RAM and 256 to 640 gigabytes of storage. But here's the cool thing, the 640 gigabyte model is actually a split storage configuration in RAID 0 with 512 gigs on UFS and 128 on SSD which is cool. Not only that, it also got a nice dual Z-axis linear motors for vibrations, Android 12 with Z UI 13 and lastly 5G with Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. Wow. After that, this might not be the most important for a gaming phone, the cameras. For the selfie, it will be a 16 megapixel sensor inside the bezels. But for the back, it got a 64 megapixel main and 13 megapixel ultra wide with 120 degrees FOV. Decent enough. Now, lastly, the price. As of now, this phone is available for China only and you can pre-order it right now if you live there. For the base model of 12256, it will cost you a whole 680 dollars. But if you pre-order, it will be 630 dollars. While the top end model of 18640 will be 840 dollars without the pre-order discount. Not too bad. So what do you think about this device? Are you excited for it to go global? Let me know in the comments. Okay, that's all the knowledge for today. I hope this video can help you understand more about the brand new device from Lenovo. So this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching and hit the like button. Don't forget to come back next week for more knowledge about tech and subscribe so you won't miss it. Cool, see ya.